Hello there, you beautiful soul. I am here once again to not only remind you of how amazing and abundant you are, but I'm also here to demonstrate yet another beautifully crafted superfood meal. So last week I brought you a dragon fruit smoothie bowl using my favorite protein meal replacement um, with Isogenics. And today I'm gonna bring you a superfood salad made with Brussels sprouts and quinoa. So I already took the liberty of cooking the quinoa and the Brussels sprouts so that I can just basically demonstrate how I make the salad or you know any other uh, recipe that I'm making. I, I try to you know make these videos just as short and, and quick and sweet so that you can uh, go about your merry way to actually make the recipe. Um, so thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel. It's slowly growing and I'm really appreciative of that. And also take the time to please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, like this video because the more you like, the more you comment, the more people subscribe, um, the more viewers are able to see these vegan recipes that are making a difference in our internal health. So I'm gonna, um, I kind of chopped everything up already and I'm going to demonstrate how I'm gonna make the dressing, but right now I'm going to pour this, uh, the quinoa. So I used True Roots, this um, quinoa blend, and um, just, it's pretty easy to cook. So you just follow the recipe or the instructions on the packet. Um, you don't necessarily have to use this specific blend. You can use any form of quinoa. Um, but I like the fact that this one has the white, the red, and the black quinoa, and it's a sprouted blend, so it's it's just really good, um, you know, for the digestive health. Um, quinoa I love because it is an easy grain for us to digest. It's really good, um, filled with fiber and good source of protein. Um, so what I did with these Brussels sprouts is I actually baked them. So um, they're a little bit crispy. And what I did was I drizzled some um, maple syrup. You can do as much as you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but I like my Brussels sprouts a little bit sweet. So I, I just drizzled a little bit of maple syrup and I um, topped it with some almonds, some chopped almonds. And I just mixed it up put a little bit of sea salt and then roasted them for about 15 minutes in um, in the oven at about 395 degrees to 400. It's really up to you. Uh, I just like my Brussels sprouts a little bit crispy. So that's why I left them in there a little bit longer. So um, I chopped up, up some red bell peppers. And um, so you can use a very small red pepper. Um, I love shallot that is my onion of choice i love shallots they're very similar to like a purple onion um if you don't know what a shallot looks like this is what it looks like here so i just chop it up really nice and fine um you don't have to use a jalapeno i'm mexican so i tend to be drawn more to like spicier food um with the jalapenos if you do decide to use it you can take out the seeds and so it's not gonna be as spicy. Um, so you just mix this in here. And then I'm gonna be making like a citrus, like an orange um, vinaigrette that is so delicious with this combination. I'm a big fan of like sweet and salty. And also I'm a big fan of citruses. Um, so citrus is gonna be really good for your gut health, especially oranges. And so I'm gonna make my fresh dressing with one squeeze orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this in here. If you don't have a juicer or you know something like this, you can just squeeze it um, into a bowl or whatever. So I really like these just because it takes out the pulp. Go ahead and squeeze this in here. Guys, you know, I, I've been vegan now for three years and it has been, it was a very slow transition at first, but once I got the hang of it, it just became so much more fun to be able to incorporate plant-based foods that were just really um, much better for my digestive health because I had a lot of gut issues, which majority of people in our society do because of the highly processed foods that we eat every single day. And so 
Granted, with um, with plant-based cooking, especially if you are cooking at home, you definitely need to be a little bit more prepared. So like I love to chop my own veggies and I love to prepare just because I like to infuse love into my food and food is a very sacred, it's very sacred. So you wanna make sure that when you are cooking food, you're cooking food in a very good mood, that you're joyful, that you're energized. And even when you're going to places to eat, that you pay attention to the environment because some of these environments, especially in fast food restaurants, not the, not the cleanest, not, you know, people are not really, they don't wanna be there, right? And so you wanna make sure that when you're eating, you're going out to eat, that you know, you're going to places that are high, high vibe environments, that the, the staff is friendly, that you know that they're maybe doing like farm to table um, service because that's the best way to go. So with this, um, with this dressing, I squeezed a one, one orange, one navel orange, and then I put a fourth cup of uh, avocado oil. And then I'm gonna do um, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and I'm using Annie's organic Dijon mustard here. And I'm gonna put, you know, the ingredients that I prefer to use or the brands. You don't have to use the specific brands that I'm using as long as you're using those ingredients. And like I said, I'm an, I'm an intuitive eater, an intuitive chef. So oftentimes, you know, these, these recipes that I'm doing either I've just randomly come up with it or I've found a recipe that I really like that I follow, but then I, I make it my own. So I don't remember where I found this recipe, but I ended up um, adding the bell peppers, the jalapeno, and then I think the, re the original recipe had, um, they used purple onion. They didn't use the red bell pepper. Um, so like I said, I just, I like to add, you know, my own flavor to the mix. And so you're gonna do two teaspoons of the Dijon mustard, and then you're gonna do um, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So I'm using this organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. So then you just two, in there yeah guys I mean I take my food real serious just because I've had so many health issues over my life that now that I finally figured out what works for me you know I want to make sure that I'm putting the best food ingredients into my body as possible because you know what our body is our temple it is a living temple and it has the ability to regenerate itself when you're giving it what it needs so just mix this up in there. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. And then I'm gonna save the avocado for last. So you just pour it in your salad here. And then pour the avocado. And you can, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do pomegranates, but you can do like dried cranberries. You can do like dried apricots, pretty much any uh, dried fruit that you wanna use. You don't have to. Like I said, this is really just like a base for you to kind of go off of, and then you can add your own veggies or your own idea of what, you, what dried fruit you really like. Um, but like I said, I'm a fan of salads and I don't really like bland salads. I like salads with a lot of flavor and crunch. And so you can just add a little bit of pomegranate in there. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good. And then for that little extra crunch, you could add a little bit more almonds in there. The original ones that I added were already roasted with the um, with the Brussels sprouts, but um, you can add you know more of the raw almond if you want. And this could be eaten like you know your main dish, or it could be like a side dish for a party or whatever. But look at how colorful and vibrant this looks. Oh my gosh, it's so good! I'm so excited to try it. Let me grab myself a. Here. By the way, I don't own rights to this music. I'm playing um, some house music in the background, and um, but I don't own the rights to it. So, 
Oh my God, so good. And that's it guys, super easy and quick. I mean, the thing that's gonna take the longest is cooking the quinoa, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes and then roasting the Brussels sprouts. Once you have everything already chopped up and everything, it's literally like a five minute process. So there you go. I'm so excited. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know when you try the recipe, comment below, follow me, subscribe, like the video, whatever you have to do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week.